G'day guys, welcome to Motorfields, I'm Rob Hamilton and this is the helmet special. We're gonna take a closer look at all my helmets. 14 of them, 14. First, a real quick announcement. I clocked over the 10,000 subs last night. Yes! Thank you so much guys, I owe it all to you, of course. So I'm super stoked and I wanna do something special for you guys, so stick around to the end. I need to ask you guys a few questions just to get your general vibes on what you would like. 10K giveaway, it's not the official one today, but it will be maybe next week or the week after or something. I'm very excited. This is not a review. We are just gonna be hanging out, me and you, hanging in my office, checking out my helmets, why I have them, general feels, comfort, price, weight, that sort of stuff. If there are any that you'd like me to go more in depth with, let me know in the comments. Um, otherwise, yeah, we're just gonna be hanging out, having a little vibe. Also, my head size is the long oval type shaped head. Measuring from here, right around, it's 24 inches or 61 centimeters. Just so you know what we're working with. So when it comes to helmets, I feel that it's pretty personal. It's on your face. It's up to you how much wind and everything you like to feel on your face, how much vision you like to see. Do you want a visor? Do you want goggles? Do you want Bluetooth in it? Do you want race spec? Do you want old school classic styles? It needs to suit you personally. It needs to keep you happy. And you probably want it to make it look, you know, pretty stylistic with your bike as well. So my very first helmet was this. Just a plain old open face. I was riding a Yamaha SRV250, suited the style-ish. I like the whole wind in my face. I like to be able to see everything. There was nothing. You ride with this and it feels like you're just wearing nothing, which was awesome. You can see everywhere. Obviously, when you're riding on the freeway, when you're riding in rain, dust, you're just copying everything in your face and it gets pretty hectic, crap going on your eyes and everything. But I loved it. it suited the vibe, suited the style. Um, it's a very uncomfortable helmet. I don't even remember where I bought this from. I don't even know what brand it is. It's, it's just a plain old helmet. So from here, I wanted to step it up a little bit and have a bit of a shield situation going on, which is why I went to the Bell Custom 500 open face. So <laughs> I got the bubble shield. It looks cool. It's Cafe Racer styles. I like the whole, you know, the whole mirror thing as well. It looks pretty epic. This is back in like 2014, hey? So far, like this thing is absolutely ratted. But this was like my second helmet, so I keep her. I like her, and like I had my Sony action cam strapped to the side, just trying to, you know, do the thing. Uh, but people called me an astronaut and stuff, but I didn't care. I loved it. This is large and it fit my head so well. Um, noise, it wasn't that noisy for me back then. I'm wearing better helmets now, and I guess it is a little bit on the noisier side. In saying that the material's all deteriorated and everything, I don't really remember what it felt like to ride with on freeways and stuff. But it was light, it's comfy. Um, it was a cool, it was a cool helmet. It was a good second helmet, man. I love all this to death. I had a white one, and I had another black one before this. They don't last too long. They probably last like a year before they start getting all funny. But, you know, cheap and it works, I think. I never actually, you know. But I did need to step up to something a bit more, you know, structural wise. I ended up buying this bad boy, the Biltwell Lane Splitter. I don't know why I went white. <laughs> I really don't. Like going back now, I wish I bought like the gloss black or the, the matte black or something. But you know, white's, white's sort of cool. You look like the Stig. Heaps of people like these. I'm not, I'm not really a fan. Hey, uh, it's the heaviest helmet I own and it's got like nothing in it. It's very basic. I don't know why it's so heavy. It feels bulky. I don't like the material on the inside, but like, I guess it looks pretty cool. So when I go for a ride, I do like to feel the wind in my face. So that's why I'm not really a, a visor kind of guy. So I got rid of the visor first. And I just had a set of goggles in there. First before the goggles, I had nothing in them, just my sunnies, because I just want that, mm, just that nice fresh breeze. I'm riding a motorbike, damn it. And with the goggles and everything, I didn't really, I wasn't really vibing on the style, you know? I am keeping it though. I think I might just airbrush the whole thing and have it as a bit of a, a bit of a monument in my office. <laughs> something, like something. It looks okay just sitting there. It looks, it reminds me of um, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I do love the whole front part. But yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a crazy, not a crazy fan on this one. It does, it does look better with the visor on there. I do prefer it with this bad boy on. Wind noise is pretty gnarly. I feel like it's a bit loud, it's heavy, it's bulky. Not a fan. So Premier Helmets Australia gave me this one to kick around in and it is awesome, hey? Like, it is light, looks awesome. The Ride 100% goggles fit so nicely in there, the Barstows. Um, I love them, hey? Got the little thing at the back here, boop, flick it down. I love its simplicity. It's so light, it's so light. And noise reduction is actually incredible. Hey, material on the inside feels really nice and soft. You can pull, pull them out, obviously. Just a standard buckle. Simple, man. It is just a very simple design, but look at the quality of that leather in there, or whatever it is. It just feels bloody fantastic. By the way, links are in the description for all the helmets I'm talking about. Um, so if you want more information on them, go on there, check it out. 
These are such quality helmets. I love the, the decals on there. They just look sick. And you got the studs up there as well, so you can put different shields. This one's from Premiere. Like what the heck? That looks gnarly as. And they got they got stacks, man. They got heaps of different shields. You can custom up, you can customize them up a little bit. I love it. I love it so much. And it's just crazy with the goggles and everything like that. The sound, it's perfect, man. I actually think it's the quietest helmet I own. Just saying. Of course, this is my go-to. It's exactly the same as the other one, just a different decal on it. Um, and yeah, it's uh, it's delicious, man. That's how it's looking on the inside. There isn't much space. Uh, thank goodness the Cardo speakers, the little JBL guys, they're so thin and they just fit. I don't know if you're not going to be able to see it. Can you be able to see it? That's the speaker right there. Very thin. It's so good. They're awesome. I love them. And they suit the scrambler style as well. And I still get that bit of wind going through. Just hit me in the face, make it feel like I'm actually riding a bike without being all sealed up and everything. Obviously, if it rains and stuff, you're pretty screwed. These are pretty sick. So these are the trophies. A bit more of a classic sort of style, a bit more of a closed face style, but not like you're not totally sealed up, you know? There's still just that just that raw element, but super classy. Got the nice chrome trim around there. Again, very quiet helmet. I'm a size medium in uh, all these Premier Classic styles as well. Although the mediums are recommended for 57 centimeters. What was I? 61 centimeters. So that fits me. These fit me fine. So this one's my one, and this one is my girlfriend Romina's one, which is damn awesome. Look at that red visor. So they did come in all these different colors. Um, look, at the, look at the decals on it, man. Pretty, pretty glossy, pretty sexy. Um, nice big thick cheek, cheek pads in there as well. She's got a tiny head, so they do come, you know, nice and thick. You can get the um, extra padding in there. But quality, man. Very quiet helmet. Very, very nice. So that's the extra small. That's at 53 or 54 centimeters. This is the Foresight Smart Helmet. Loaded with tech and features. It's got a built-in camera, it's got microphone, take calls, and if you guys want to check out the unboxing on this, I'll link it right here. It's got some views on it now, which I'm pretty stoked about, 200,000. You either love it or hate it. Tech is pretty scary, especially when it's all in a helmet. It's just, people just don't understand. People don't even trust the brand foresight because they think that it's gonna be like Scully and just crash and burn. These guys are pumping it, and I'm gonna do a full-on review when I get more info from them for all their new stuff, just so I can keep you guys informed with what's happening there. You know, Sydney-based, these guys are they're working away. They're working away hard to just try to make the best quality smart helmet. It's got a full-on camera built-in, microphone, take phone calls. Um, have a damn blast with it. But they look sick, feels comfortable, lightweight as well, considering that it's got all this tech in the front of it. Wind noise, I'd like it to be a little bit quieter. Um, when I'm riding on the freeway anyway, I like to wear earplugs just because any prolonged exposure to noise above 70 dB will start ruining your ears permanently. And when you're riding a bike at 100 kilometers an hour, you're reaching 95 to 105 decibels, which is pretty hectic. If you're cruising on the freeway for like an hour, you're gonna come off, you're gonna feel all ringing in the ears and everything like that, chuck some earplugs in, or get some molds made up, or get some noise cancelling little headphones, stick them in there. But there are some pretty awesome updates that are coming out with Foresight in the near future, where they will be changing all the material and stuff. It's gonna sound better. Um, but yeah, what a, what a crazy helmet. Check out the video. This is the other smart helmet I have. This is the Quinn Design Ghost Zero. It's got, you know, control panel here and all this, and it's, you know, it's a little bit lighter than the Foresight. Um, but I mean, like, the smart feature on this is that it's got crash detection technology. You come off, you get knocked out, beacon gets sent to your contacts, and you can have emergency services dispatched to you without you even having to touch your phone, which is pretty cool. Um, very comfortable, quiet. This is an extra large size. This is 61 to 62. I do look like a bit of a Martian with it on, which is sort of a bummer. The cool thing with the Foresight one is that they've condensed the shells down. They've got new shells, so I was an extra large than that. But now I'm down to a large, and it's the smaller size shell, which is awesome. I don't look like such a... You got a little, you got your little control panel here. With the Foresight, you have a control panel that you mount onto your bike. Turn it on, turn it off, volume up and down. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Got another video on this as well, right there. Check it out. More of an in-depth review. Um, but yeah, quick design. It's tiny, man. So this is another medium. That's the crazy thing is that like I wear a medium in those, the Trophy and the MX style, and they fit perfectly. This is a medium. I can't get it past my head, so I gave this to my girlfriend. It fits it perfectly. She's an extra small in those ones. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, again, nice quality. Look at that stitching down the bottom here. 
They're actually pretty incredible. Uh, orange visor comes with it. Uh, you can, you know, change them up, mix them up. Very simple, very simple design. Real comfortable, noise, good. Classic look, on point. Um, she bought this for DGR and she looks sick in it, so that's mad. This is pretty epic looking. Full on pin lock, drop down visor. I mean, like most of those other ones have a drop down visor as well. I don't know if you're into it. Uh, heaps of vents everywhere. This is pretty comfortable, good noise. Premier, man, premier all over there, noise reduction, which is awesome. This is a modular. Cool factor, <laughs> but it does increase when you bring it down. <laughs> cool factor now. Oh yeah, baby. It's Bluetooth ready as well. Stick a little, stick a little module in here. Again, if you want more info on all this sort of stuff, links in the description. It's actually a bit of a heavy helmet. I don't use this one too much. Um, this is another one that Premier sent out to me. This is the medium. Still feels a little bit too tight for me. I feel like, I don't know, I'm like with, with closed space helmets, I just feel so suffocated. I don't know, I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's just me. High quality, once again, that's the inside. Got a little exhaust port at the back. Boop. And a couple at the front here. And it also has the, the ratchet type strap buckle. It's a cool helmet, I don't really wear it too much. Another one, another one of theirs is this bad boy. This is cool. I really like this helmet, but the only issue is, again, it's a medium, but it just doesn't fit my head. I struggle in this, this really, puts pressure on. Now all these helmets, all these, pretty much all these helmets from Premiere, um, they sent them over to me for me to shoot for my Instagram and promote and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, like these ones, they're a bit too small. So if you want to get one of these and you want it to fit properly, like I said, I'm a medium, 61 centimeters, but I'd go large for sure, like for sure. It's very small, it's so light this thing, man. And that looks sick. I reckon it looks, actually looks awesome. Full on pin lock, very quiet helmet. Um, all these all these race spec helmets have the glasses slot as well. So if you're like me, they slide right in really nice and comfortable. This one only has two air vents with the exhaust out the back, which looks like a damn full on proper exhaust. Emergency pull out cheek pads, um, but again, quality over the top. It's they're just they're awesome over that. It's so nice. And I've only man, I've only worn this thing like twice, eh? So it just sucks that it's a bit too small, it's a bit, uh, a bit too crammed in there, and I feel like I'm suffocating. I feel like I can't breathe. No drop down visor with that one which I sort of like. It just keeps it so simple, so light, so tasty. And their other sports helmet is this one that they sent over to me. This is this is the Devil GT. Uh, this looks cool, hey. I really like the look of this. I love the look of the back. Love everything. Junk points up. This one I can't even fit on at all. Same vibe though, medium 57. It's just bizarre, I don't know. I don't get it. But it looks damn cool. There's another one for me to shoot. Ooh. When I did the Trident review, I got Antoine to ride this um, and he loved it. He said it was really comfortable. Again, very quiet for the ratchet straps. I wish I could ride with this because it actually looks mad. And I wish I could give you more info on this, but I just really can't. Apart from that, it just looks sick. Pin lock is very light and glasses slot. It's got, man, look at it. It's still brand new. Look at this. Dunk. Still got the plastic on the damn drop down visor, which is nuts. Hey? Cool helmet. And of course, we got this Predator helmet. This is from Pe Predator Collective. They sent this out to me as well. They're like, hey man, do you want a Predator helmet? I was like, oh my God, I freaking love Predator, man. And it does look sick. It looks actually incredible, but oh, that's the uh, <laughs> good old Dot, hey? Good old Dotty boy. The quality's not there. It's very heavy, um, but it's just, it just looks cool, you know? It's even got the damn tri cannon triple dot laser thing. It needs some battery, I don't know, it's good. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I reckon it looks mad, but when you put it on, man, the visor cuts down your nose, like you wouldn't want to come off wearing this thing. Um, it looks like they're just screwed in the, the face thing to the shell of a cheap helmet. And um, yeah, it's, it's horrible to wear. It's actually horrible, but it looks sick. It's just a, it's just a novelty thing. I would never ride with this. Man. I actually wanted to do a stint just riding around and just scaring kids in the cars or something. Because it looks epic. But I just did not want the attention from the old popos either, you know. As if you wouldn't get pulled over. You get pulled over for sure. So I've done one shoot with this and it was pretty sick. But yeah, so it's basically just a, I don't know, just a plastic mold drilled into a helmet, it looks like. Which is pretty hectic. But it's cool. If I ever have a dress-up party, I can wear that with my like exoskeleton armor. <laughs> It'd be perfect. And that's pretty much it. That sums up what I have here. Um, if you have any questions on any of them, like I, you know, I don't know really what to sort of say apart from that they're 
Premier, Premier, the, just the titties, man. I love Premier so much. Um, obviously, I wear the MX style a lot. Perfect, perfect for me. I like it, it's my personal thing. These race ones here though. So these here, they don't fit my head and they're just sitting here just collecting dust. Now, it's either I let them sit here and collect more dust or I just chuck them up on eBay and sell them or I give them away. Now the current climate here in Sydney, like we're still in lockdown, it's ridiculous. Um, the whole COVID situation is pretty hectic. I don't know how you guys feel about doing a giveaway with COVID being a thing. Obviously I'd clean the crap out of them. Um, but I just want to know your thoughts because they're just sitting here doing nothing. I know that you guys would probably get way more use out of them. They are this medium sort of style though. You want to be a smaller head than me, otherwise you won't fit in them. But just, I don't know, I'm just trying to get a vibe. What do you guys reckon? Do you reckon I should give these away? Or do you reckon I should just sell them? Or do you reckon just keep them forever and just never wear them? Let me know. Still got the original boxes, still got the original packaging, all the, you know, the visor stuff. So it's, they're pretty much brand new, they're brand new. They've been worn like once or twice max, that's it. Just for a couple of shits that I did on my Instagram. Which by the way, go and visit me on Instagram. If you are not to follow me, go and follow me. You'll see all these helmets in action in normal photos. But I want to do a giveaway, I want to do a 10K giveaway and I think I want to throw in a few of these helmets but I just want to know what your thoughts are on that idea. Um, I've been working hard on a store, so I've got my presets, I've got a new preset pack, Volume 2 coming out. Uh, volume 1 is out if you haven't already checked it out and you want to edit like the photos that I've just shown you, then go and check it out. There's a free download there for you as well, a free preset that you can go and test out, make sure everything works nicely, guarantee it will. Uh, and I've, I've got merch coming up guys. Full on merch store. Woo! Man, I mean, you know, lockdown, lockdown, working away. Working away hard, like a good boy. So that's it, they're my helmets. Um, sorry if I went through them really fast, I just didn't want to take up too much time. They're all pretty sick helmets. I do enjoy them. I'm more of a open face sort of guy. I do like the air in my face rather than being all closed up. Everybody's different, everyone has their opinions. Helmets are a pretty touchy subject, I find. I think it's just because it is, it's personal. It's a personal experience. You're in there, your face is in there. It's like, this is the part that's like the most important on your body. And you know, you want to look stylish and you want to be comfortable and you just want something that, you know, just represents you well, fits you well. So I have a large assortment here, which is something I thought I'd just share with you, just so you can get an idea on what the vibes are with all these different types of helmets and why I choose the ones I choose. But I don't need this many. I've got too many helmets, man. I think I'd be happy getting rid of these three. So let me in the comments. I want to get rid of them. You can have them. I'll give them to you. Take them home. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all in next week's vid. I'm gonna go and watch Predator now. One, two, three. Alien VP. Predators. Predator, Predator. there's so many, eh? I just don't even know which ones are now.